we'll go back to the North California, although I learned that people in the Bay Area don't necessarily call themselves North Californians, which is confusing to me, but you are what you are. And we're going to have somebody that people recognize when he was a kid. His parents were dragging him around Pez collections. I've only known him as a full-fledged adult and always had a good time with him. And we're going to turn it over to Alec Miller, and he can show off his collection. This is going to be a feature Pez tour, so he can take his time. And you can ask as many questions as you like, and we'll relay them to Alec for you. Okay, Alec, all you, my friend. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure Alex unmuted. Uh, just a second. Hi, Alex. Perfect. Can you guys hear me? Yep. There yes. you go. Perfect, guys. How's it going? Hope you all having fun out there. Um, so a little bit of background on myself right now. Um, I'm 26. I've been collecting pets my entire life. Um, uh, and I'm gonna show you my bedroom. It's been pretty fun. So. Obviously the sign, it used to say Alex Pez room, but once I moved out of my parents' house, my mom decided to cross it off and in the collection. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, so I'll start off by showing you on the back of this door this cool uh, Halloween wreath that I have. Um, I won this at uh, the Christmas gathering that Jessica puts on every year. It's a pretty cool gift I had. Um, over here, I got some vintage vending machine cards from Disney. I got, uh, forget the characters, Brutus, Olive Oil, Pig, uh, Dopey. Then I got a vintage header card from the 70s Disney. I just always really like this Animaniacs one because it's a Pulp Fiction joke and it has just a little Pez in there. So I always thought that was fun. Uh, I got some random just Pez stuff up here. This is the clock I got when I was a Pez set of the month in 2009. Um, I was only 15. I was very excited to get that. It was a really cool call to get waking up to. I got some other just more random stuff here. Um, I won this at Cleveland during the pony races, came in third place. That's a cool metal sign, really nice. I got a picture up here of Leonard Nimoy and Shatner. Not Pez related, I just like Star Trek. So uh, you guys, we were just talking about all the trucks and everything, how people display them. So my mom, uh, she worked at a high school and we had the wood shop teacher build this. Uh, so it's really nice. It's a great way to display my trucks I have. Um, we got to fill up a few more. Um, over here, I won this as like a blackout bingo prize at Jessica's Christmas gathering. We got some really beautiful Catholic French pez. One of them did fall down, but they're nice and glittered by Laura Teasley. Great job doing that. Um, right here, we got an old pez advertising sign. Um, I actually got her. I got this huge lot of pez. Careful driving. Uh, paid everything. I was like, oh, wait, I got one more thing. And then he walks of his room with this never seen one before um, I know a few others now but super proud to have that weighs about 10 pounds it's pretty hefty too which is really thick metal um, right here is just like a cool love pest thing a couple years ago on eBay people were selling somebody was selling these just really nice and made and here it is all framed up looking together I'm obsessed with the psychedelic Pez, so that's a lot of fun uh, here's another display of trucks these are all the advertising trucks I've kind of simmered down on those uh, I get them when I can but I don't go out seeking them uh, just just what it is, but I do like them still. Perfect, guys. And then uh, we obviously got these. I know a lot of you guys got them when Pop Pez first came out and uh, Box Lunch had them, and you were able to achieve those. It's pretty cool. But yeah, over here, um, I have lots of random stuff. So I got my Ninja Turtles right here. I've been way too lazy to ever try to find off the whole set, so I just have some here. I'm um, coming out of this next shelf. I got uh, some convention dispensers right here. Just random ones, all kinds of sorts of stuff. I can open that. Um, I really love Ivan's. I think Ivan's does a great job uh, with his every year. I'm really happy that I didn't unfortunately get the chance to go to the, the Slovenia convention, but I went to the Vienna one, um, but it was still a great job. Uh, down here, we got just emojis. Also been too lazy to try to find all the funky faces with the different colors. This next shelf is one of my favorites. So this is a fantasy, a fantasy shelf I have. Um, these are all made by the same artist. Um, I forget his name. I know he's on eBay as Crypt of Toys. Um, but he made like Eddie Munster, his son. My favorite is the Edward Scissorhands one. Super detailed. You can actually see the scars on his face and the detail in the hair. It's pretty amazing. Um, I really like the blob one back here. Just the guy looks like he's in a lot of pain, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, they actually, he actually made this alien one before Pez made it. 
Um, it's pretty cool that they did it. So I bought that because it was my favorite character. Then Pez made their own. So I got both now. Cool. Uh, down here, I just got some random. The Pez that have stands on them. Got a couple European box sets in the back here. Um, right here, this is all my Barky shelf. These two right here are very important to me. I actually just got them the other day, but I missed them when they were first released. But they're uh, for the California wildfires from 2018. Um, uh, my town, I live in Santa Rosa, about like half the town burned down then. Um, I actually had my entire Pez collection packed up in the back of my car, um, just ready to go, just in case anything happened. Uh, we didn't, uh, luckily I was safe. Um, a lot of people weren't there, so it's kind of sad. Going up to the next shelf, this is my Leslie and Jake shelf. Got the little bottle head, the little guy. Um, this record's really cool, the Pez Kings record. Then on the back, this isn't a Lesson Jake record, but it's some other indie band called the Boss Jim Gettys. And they just did a cool spoof on the older Pez ad with like this guy smoking a cigar. So I think that's really cool. All right, coming up to some sign Pez. On your left right here, we got uh, Buzz Lightyear, and he's signed by uh, Tim Allen. Special thanks to Landon for letting me get that one. Over here, uh, we got Adam West, who I was able to get when I was 13 at my first comic convention. And then uh, Tim Conroy, who's the voice of Batman on the animated series. Uh, they were super nice when I met them in real life, great people. Coming up to this next shelf, probably my favorite autograph Pez are these uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon ones. They're on fantasy Pez that are really well made because I wasn't gonna have them sign my vintage Creature one. Uh, he's, they're signed by Rick Koo Browning. He was the guy who was in the creature suit in all the underwater scenes. Uh, he was in all three movies, which is pretty cool. And he was a really nice guy when I met him. Right here, um, this is a special Sergeant Pez one. Um, so definitely bit on his stuff today, guys. His stuff's amazing. It's such a cool, high quality gizmo dispenser that he made. He also made this one right here. A little, uh, get the Krampus. That's Krampus, I got that from Landon uh, at the Christmas thing, which is awesome. Right here, I got Guido signed Pez by the voice actor whose name is me. And then I just like the little Guido action figure. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, so I wanted to get them all in it. Um, coming to the next shelf, I got the modern voice of Goofy and Max. They both uh, signed as Goofy at D23, along with the voice of Mickey Mouse. Um, right there, that one is signed by uh, Bernie Sanders. Those two guys right there, uh, there's a show called Tanked on Animal Planet, and they're the main hosts on it, and they're at them to sign it. And then right here, this is probably another one of my favorite set of signed Pez. Um, I got this at Comic-Con about six years ago. Um, each Pez is signed on both sides, so there's a total of six autographs on the three dispensers by most of the voice cast and stuff. They're all super cool. Uh, they never signed a Pez before. They thought it was funny. I told them about it. They're pretty cool about it. Um, then up here, just the gross popcorn that Pez made. Got the Pez calendar. And then coming down here, there's all my Pez cards I just have on the wall. And then in here, this is my bag of hearts. Because I don't need the hearts on display. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so coming up here, I just got this box. has all kinds of stuff in it. Lots of cool European card stuff. Got the Fessy Pez. I got the Groom. And the Bright. I said I'm reversed, but I got them from the Vienna Convention. I wasn't there when they gave out the Groom, but I wasn't at the Vienna Convention when they gave out the Bride. Uh, super cool convention. Uh, thank you to the host and everyone that was there. And then big shout out to uh, Brian and Porter. This is their wedding Pez. I absolutely love it. Uh, he was super nice and sent that to me after his wedding. These are some funny fantasy Pez that I were in a lot. Somebody cut off a Pooh Bear head and I just like it. And somebody cut off Amigo Batman and made it. Then I just got the trucks back there, the lip balm. Over here, this is the Disney show for the most part. Um, there is a really nice Swarovski Tigger one. Uh, that one was not made by Laura. That was actually one that they sold at F.A.L. Schwartz about, probably about 20 years ago by now. Um, pretty rare to find those guys. Coming down here, this is probably one of my all-time favorite shelves. If anybody knows me, they know I'm a huge geek. So this is my superhero and comic book related shelf. 
Um, I got DC over here. I got Marvel over here. You got to keep them divided. <laughs> I got a uh, Georgia LaForge Pez signed by LeVar Byrne that my mom was nice enough to go to a convention for me in my hometown that I wasn't able to make it to. This is a very unusual Pez. Uh, Homer Simpson from Comic-Con 2001. Uh, not officially made by Pez, but they were given out somehow. There is a whole set of them. The Bart one actually has three red triangles on the top to make him look more like uh, the Radioactive Man sidekick. If you ever see the rest of those, I would love to get them. Let me know. Um, I haven't gone too hardcore in the minis, but I got a few of them. I do have one mini mini that I was very lucky and picked up for $25. Um, definitely didn't know that it was a mini mini, so I was pretty lucky. Uh, right here, this Pez truck is uh, signed and doodled by a comic book artist from the 80s for Iron Man called Bob Lane. So we drew a little Iron Man, like a like little city and stuff. That's a little fun one to have. Right here, just random cartoons of a lot of the modern stuff. Uh, down here, I got my truck shelf. So after following the truck seminar, I definitely learned some stuff. I got, I got the whole set of Joes. I don't have the regular Pez Misfit ones. I got to get on that. I did not know that these were glued, but now I realize that one of them is glued. So that's awesome to know that. These are my vintage trucks. A couple more minis. Minis. Uh, down here is just kind of random. This is a lot of Warner Brothers and then whatever else I get to modernize it. This is all the Hello Kitty I have. Um, it's just a rabbit hole, I feel like, for Hello Kitty. There's so many different ones, so many weird variations with Europe and USA. It's just, I haven't ever got hardcore to that one. Kind of eased off of those. And now to show you guys the good stuff. All right, guys, so this is all my vintage. Starting with the top up here. Uh, it's mostly holidays. So I got a lot of Christmas, the Angel, Rudolph, Snowman's, a whole bunch of egg and chicks, lambs, and a whole bunch of febs. This next shelf is probably my all time favorite. My birthday's on Halloween. Um, I love Halloween, along with like Ryan and Maury. We both love Halloween. Uh, so I've been trying to really work on all the Halloween variations. There's so many out there, especially with the USA ones and all of that. Um, so I got all these really cool Mr. Uglies. I believe that one's a Made in USA one. Maybe it's one extra. I can't remember. And then uh, I got a bunch of octopuses right here. I love the octopuses. I've been really trying to get more into those. Um, looking for that redhead still. I just haven't pulled the trigger on one, but I will soon. I got my three normal skulls, and these two are both Made in USA skulls. Got uh, just the pumpkins. Uh, One-Eyed Monsters. I got all these different guys right here. And then the witches. I've, I've gone really lucky with the witches. Um, this one right here was actually found in a lot of about 25 vintage Pez that my dad found at a garage sale. Uh, they walked up, it was just a box of Pez and they were a dollar a piece and he bought the whole thing. It was 25 vintage Pez and that was one of them that was in the lot. A lot of other ones good too. Um, and then uh, here's my set of Erie Spectres. It is more than a set. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to work on both versions of the Hong Kong and the Made in Hong Kong version. Uh, it's cool to have this guy on three different stems. I love the pink stem version. Uh, my mom actually found him about a month ago at an antique store. She's great at hunting. And then right here, this is a totem. Uh, it's very unusual because it looks just like Mr. Ugly up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mr. Ugly came first and totem kind of ripped it off, but uh, that's just called a witch, not a Mr. Ugly. All right, guys. And coming down here. Here's all my tower shelf right here. So you got all the different boys. I love this yellow hair with the details. It's one of my favorite Pez pals right there. Um, you got the policeman, a couple of men's, the pirates. Um, I was finally able to get a ringmaster uh, about eight to 10 months ago. Um, I bought a collection out. She had about Alec, I think we might have lost your sound. Oh, no. Uh, um, can, can you hear me now? Yes. OK, cool. Sorry. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, and then I got all these humans. I love the Club Med versions. So it's always cool when you get one cheap, and then you think you have it. But then you get home, and you're like, no, those are both drastically different. Um, Uncle Sam, the stewardess. Uh, like a stewardess was one of the times when I thought I had it, but then I got home and realized it was the Made in USA version on the light blue stem. So that was pretty cool. I got these sheriffs. 
Uh, I got him in a lot. He's not supposed to have a mustache, but he does. So I've just left the mustache on him because I think he looks good as a sheriff with a mustache. So I've just let that go. And then I got a decapitated fireman and then a Santa Claus box right here. Coming down here, uh, these are most of my licensed characters and stuff. Um, I finally just got a Casper with black stem. Love that. My Bozo I got recently. Uh, love my Thor. Soft heads, different Captain Americas. All that fun stuff. You got two different Andes right here. One with the pink face, one with the white face. Both the Green Hornets are the same, but I love them. Um, I haven't gone too hardcore into the regulars, though. Uh, most of these haven't found in the wild, actually. Uh, this one and this one are both found in antique stores, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have pretty good luck finding stuff in antique stores. So I try to just go to flea markets and antique stores and try to find the deals before paying top dollar for anything I really want. Um, coming down to my next shelf. This is one of my favorite shelves. So this is all Disney. Um, as you can tell, I really like Pluto's. Uh, my army is Pluto's, vintage Pluto's. I love them. Um, they're kind of in order from 2.6 Austria all the way to 3.9. Uh, this is a DBP guy. This is a made in USA. Um, and then he's a made in Spain dispenser. Um, I got a few more Donald's I'll show you later. I mean, Pluto's. And then I got all these Donald's right here. Uh, got some Dumbo's. And then here's my Goofies. The yellow Goofy, I love. Um, I was able to snag him for only about 75 bucks on eBay. He was missing a, an ear. Um, I was able to fix that ear, just get another one, stick the ear in it, and he's perfect now. So super happy with that buy. And I got those guys. Good. Just got Jiminy Crickets right here. Um, I think the ugliest Pez ever made. Super ugly. <laughs> I think he's really ugly too. And we got Snow Whites um, on like a dark purple, then light purple. Another time when I thought it was the same, then I got home. Oh, it was different, so that's awesome. Dopey, all these fun ones. Uh, blue, like the dark blue and the light blue. Another time when I got home and it was different. So, like I said, you just never know. You might be in the wild and you think you have it. Um, but buy it anyways, because you never know that you might get home and it might be a little variation. Um, back in the day, they just were reusing everything. So, uh, down here, these are most of my animals and stuff. Just, I really like the cockatoos. So, I've been really trying to get a lot of variations of the cockatoos lately. Um, I love the duck with flower. I got the white head and the ivory one. Um, uh, elephants. Some of you might hate me for it, but this panda, I opened a vending machine box because I wanted to see what was in it. I had two of the vending machine boxes. I opened one. It was a Donald one. That panda was in it, so it's a mint straight out of the box. It's nice and white. Uh, got some of the monkeys over here. I, I like all their hats turned sideways. I think Joe Paravati is the one that started that, and the first one I bought was from him, and then I just kept turning all mine sideways. And then I got some whistles, and then I got the orange, then the Peter Pez clown. Um, yeah, that's a lot of my vintage for now. Tough <laughs> time. All right, guys. So up here is a lot of just the licensed characters, a lot of stuff, just the newer things. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen those. You got all kinds of characters, My Little Pony, Paw Patrol, Smurfs, Trolls. Uh, you got the emergency heroes and stuff. And then um, over here is a lot more of the Pez, uh, a lot more of the Pez licensed products. You got Bubble Man, Clowns, Pandas, Whistles, um, advertising stuff right here. All of these that you see are all Jim Doubly's design with the grandstands, huge shout out to him. Uh, helped out a lot of us collectors create something cheaply. I'm um, going down here next. These are the only hearts I have on display. I try to do one of each example uh, if I can. That's why I just got to box them over here. Um, and then behind you are the FX Pez. I love those ones. There's a lot more out there I don't have, but I'm happy with the ones I have for now. Then we got the Psychedelic Eyes, the Remix. This little one right here is a lot of fun. So it's a PF Chang's. It was made by Ivan. It's his favorite restaurant. Um, and it just it's to represent the Manhattan Beach. Uh, Pacific Convention when it went on and he made a couple of those there's a couple of different mini ones he's made they're really well made they're awesome huge shout out to him got a Linz Austria heart over here go down. down here or just sports I can probably get more into that but they're basically just balls reprinted and stuff so there's a the sports coming down here got all my holidays uh, kind of mixed in and stuff uh, there's another one that I think was an F.A.L. Schwartz Swarovski one, so that's a pretty cool one. 
Um, and then just a lot of random ones. You got the crystals. I love this bat. I think it's super cute. And then, and then I have this bottom shelf. This is all just the Easter. Got some Santas, just random stuff in there. All the eggs they've been doing. Uh, I love the peep. Hopefully we get different colors of that every year. Super cute. All right. And then over here, uh, start up up here. This is all my signed Star Wars Pez. Um, I was able to achieve all of these in person except for the David Prowse one, but signed by Carrie Fisher, David Prowse. Um, guy that played uh, Darth Maul, name slipping me right now. Uh, Peter Mayhew. Ray, Ray Park. Parker. Yeah, Ray Parker. Thank you. Um, and then coming down here. Oh, yeah. But actually, I just love this. My dad was nice enough to like make this shower display box so you can see the pictures of them all signing at the conventions. Me with Carrie Fisher. Uh, very honored to have met her before her passing. All right, coming down here, I just got the Star Wars set. I love this little pink C-3PO. It's a fake one that was made. Uh, super cool. Got all the body parts right here. Um, I do have one where, where, uh, Russian one. He is missing the trophy, though, but try to get those on displays. Down here is just kind of the random Pez stuff. I've got Pez watch, uh, bubble wands, a flashlight, the magic dispenser. Um, coming down here, this is all European candy and stuff, just random things. I love the since I got a couple of those, the Andy Warhol mints, just random little things here. Coming down here, I got the, the fake Pez of the Taco Bell dog. I love him. Um, these are also like somebody made these. They're uh, uh, Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse. Not Minnie Mouse, sorry, Daisy Duck. Uh, they say Disneyland on them. They're in like cellos. They're really nicely made. Um, I them at a convention a few years ago. They're made by the same guy that also made the Salt Lake City Olympic uh, polar bear Pez. I don't know if you guys remember that. So I love Halloween. I love the irrespectors. So this is a set of the irrespector pins. Uh, really cool. They only it says series one, but I think they only made one series. Coming down here, just more random stuff. You got this comic with the Fred Flintstone that would have been sold in the streets of Europe. I absolutely love this this magic trick bunny that uh, Jessica made one year for swag. I think it's super cute. I love it. And then, of course, you can't go wrong with the Pez Duster. So somebody made that for uh, swag, too, and I think it's hilarious. Down here, there's some uh, fantasy Walking Dead Pez that I bought of eBay a couple years ago, and then just the motor control Pez over here. All right, guys, so over here, uh, is, since obviously we've all been going crazy with the Pop Pez craze, I kind of had to make a lot more room for those. So here's some of the more old school Funko things, the puppets. Um, got some of the bobbleheads. I got more of them here. Um, I was super happy to get the Yummy Mummy. Uh, bought him off eBay a while ago. Sleeve stack, I got off eBay too for like $15 about 10 years ago. Super sweet deal on him. But then Homer Simpson I got about a year ago. Super rare, only about six or 12. So these ones, only about six or 12 made. The sleeve stack, I believe 75 or so were made. Then you got the George W. Bush Pez. Then I got that complete set of Comic-Con. Uh, I've gone to Comic-Con on and off uh, multiple times for about 10 years with my father. So as soon as those Comic-Con exclusives came out for Pez, I knew I needed to have them. I thought it was so cool. Um, same with, I was able to win one of the gold Batmans and win one of the gold Huckleberry Hounds. The firefighter, the black fireman, I bought him on eBay though, the night he was released at Comic-Con, got a sweet deal on him, uh, super happy. And then this one's signed by the CEO, Brian Mariotti, and the starter of Funko. Uh, my parents were able to get that at an Irvine event where the gold Freddy Funko was given out. They tried so hard to get the gold Freddy, but did not turn out. And then down here, just got some more of the pops. Some more pops down here. And then just a little Funko display. And then up here, I got more pop heads. Your fingers over the microphone. We can't, we, Alec, we can't hear you right now. How about now? Yep. Okay, perfect. So these are Russian body parts. So these are uh, Russian body parts. I was able to snag those on eBay. 
I've never seen a complete set of Pink Panther on card with the Russian body parts. I'll probably, uh, those are super cool. I'm very happy to have uh, got those at a great price. Down here, this is uh, my display for Star Wars. Uh, it lights up and everything. Uh, that was at the charity auction at Pacific probably about 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, behind it are some menus that I pull from the cantina at Disneyland. I think we lost your sound again. I think your finger might be over the speaker or the mic. Okay, how about now? Are you good? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. And then I got a whole bunch of pop heads over here. It's still a little faint. All right, can you hear me now? We can, can hear, you hear you. You're a little quiet, but I think we can hear you. Okay. Um, and then over here, this is mostly my European Pez. I got a whole rack of them. I really love the stem variations. Got the Sylvester on black stem, Tweety on all yellow stem. Um, you got the Papa Smurf with the white hat. Love my Plutos. Got one on Halo. Love the one with the uh, ears up. And the Halo cards just look so beautiful with the Pooh Bear and the Little Bad Wolf. These are some of my favorite ones, like the Black Mass Batman with the blue stems. Those are super cool. It took me a long time to find those, but I finally did. Um, and this is one of my favorite double cards. I don't know why, but I don't know why they make uh, Daffy and Bug look so lazy on the couch. They just look like a couple stoners. So I think it's a really funny card. And then um, you just got a whole display over here. I got the whole Pez Pets box and everything. I got some mistakes in here, like here's a Ninja Turtle missing a mask. I got a couple other just random stuff in here. Uh, some sports still in the packages. I got these boxes in here. Just random pins and lots of candy packs and stuff. Um, over here, this is kind of like all the weird licensed pet stuff. Fuzzy friends, keychains, got stopwatches, pens. Got the Pez board game with the Snoopy. It's really cool. Got all the magnets. Um, just all kind of stuff. I love this. I was able to get this at the Christmas gathering also, made by Laura Teasley. Uh, it's the elf. And she did a great job putting that back on the card. It looks super good. Never going to leave my collection. I'm over here. Up here, I have an uncut card of the European Halloween double card. Uh, so there's three, and it hasn't been cut. That's pretty cool. Then I got a more pop Pez in, the, in a frame. And then uh, over here, it's just kind of all my Pez books, everything I have. Um, I have some binders with like some order vintage stuff in it, um, just stuff like that. It's not that full. And then I have a portfolio book that I figured is the easiest way for to kind of hold this stuff. These fit really well into it. So I just keep those in a book nice and organized. So I kind of know what I have. I can find any time. It's kind of hard to tell what this is, but this is actually a leg lamp from a Christmas story. Uh, I made it for a Jessica's Christmas gathering, uh, and, and I ended up winning the door prize, which is awesome. Uh, super proud of that. My dad and I's favorite Christmas movie. Up here, I just got a lot of like, felt stands and stuff. Um, I had a collector named Paul I made this wooden box for Pez, so you can store some secret Pez in there if you want. It's really nicely made. We made out of wood and carved. Just got a cool Halloween header card. This right here is one of my favorites. Vintage, probably from the mid 70s or so. Um, I found him at a toy show. Uh, I just, he was like kind of still unloading and I saw that and I was like, oh my God, is that for sale? And he's like, yeah, 50 bucks. And I was like, probably could have got cheaper, but I bought it right away. I'd never seen one before. So got very excited for that. Uh, these are pretty hard to find. Um, the mini Mickey and Minnie, Minnie's, especially in the eggs. Love uh, Ivan's COVID Pez. A great job, Ivan, on that. And then special shout out to uh, Landon riding a hot dog. And then uh, coming up here, 
This is my pride and joy. This is a signed Stan Lee Pez, uh, Spider-Man. I got the Stan Lee pop, and then the pictures also has Stan Lee's autograph on it. Um, love that. Finally got all framed and nicely displayed. Coming over here, this is a, this would have been sitting on the counter at a Jack in the Box to advertise the Jack in the Box Pez that they had. Uh, here I got Uncle Sam. Funny with him, so I won him at Jessica's. And then uh, coming back, we opened the trunk of the car. And then it fell out and the top of the head broke. Uh, sorry, not the head, the base, the stem broke. Um, and my dad felt bad. He immediately bought me another one on eBay. So now I have an extra head. So if anybody's head ever breaks, let me know. Um, this is just kind of a cool Japanese box. I would actually, they were ripped off of there and like used it as a display in the store. But I just always liked it with the birds on it and stuff. That was cute. <laughs> So up here, uh, these are all test pieces, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I got some hippos, a Squidward crystal, the ghosts, the bees. Love Pluto. I'm trying to get more Pluto test pieces. They are pricey, but this one glows in the dark. Very cool. And then a crystal green head one. Um, and then I got the black Santa Minon card. I love that one, especially with the unpunched card in there. Super cool. You don't see that often. Um, then over here, just got a lot of little mini cars. Uh, I actually just got some of those for the first time about a month ago. Never had very many. Just little other Pez stuff. Got the little stickers. Um, coming down to this next shelf. I love this one. Um, made by a collector named Tanya. Um, it says, blow me. You can see that. Uh, so it's pretty funny that she would carve down the whistles. Um, got this Pez guns. Got a couple more clickers. And I love these old vending machine cards. So I had to get Pluto, obviously, to go with my Pluto Army. And then I also got a Mickey Mouse back here. Nah, I'll see. Um, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things in my collection because of how unique it is. So it was a mold that they would have used. So it was kind of a bigger than life mold. So they could have shown the example of what it would have looked like. Um, so you can actually put it together on one piece. But it was made for the droopy dog. So if you look. You can tell right there, that's the tip of his nose right there. And then there would have been another piece that would have slid on top of that. And that was used in the making of this Pez. So it's a pretty cool piece to have. You can even see like a little bit of the mold on his mouth that he would have had right there too. Um, down here, I just got lots of candies. Kind of how I display my candy. I'm not super hardcore into candy. If I come across it, I keep it. If I don't go seeking out many new packs, I try to just stick to dispensers if I can. Uh, I love this pin. I was given it when I got Pez Set of the Month a long time ago. It's a really cool pen, especially with Vushko on it. That's a lot of Pez yo-yos. And then uh, this Pez belt buckle. I actually found it at a flea market. I've never seen another one. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. And then down here are just, these are all mostly convention candies and stuff like that that I have on. Um, and then right below this, this whole shelf is just kind of where I keep all my box sets. Uh, I, I buy the box sets, but they're kind of a pain to uh, show off and everything. So they kind of just get shoved down here, unfortunately. And then coming over here next, I'd say this is more my Holy Grail stuff we have right here. Um, starting from the top, we got just a Peter Pez. That would have been on a tour back in the day. And coming down right here, this is my uh, Holy Grail shelf right here. Um, so I got the Donkey Kong Jr. still with the box. He actually you can tell that it was cut out and actually used. Um, so he actually used that same one and sent it out. Um, over here, I got my three psychedelic eye dispensers. I love that. Obsessed with just the 60s vibe and everything with those. One of them is cracked, but the other two are perfect. And then over here, I got my Vushko. And then the Olympic Snowman. Uh, when I bought the Olympic, when my parents actually bought the Olympic Snowman for me as a present. And when they bought it, it wasn't broken. Uh, when they shipped it, it ended up breaking. So I still have that piece of plastic that it broke off of tipped back of this. Probably cannot repair it, but it's, it's fun that I have it. Um, here's my baseball with the bat and the base. Um, really cool. I actually, uh, one of, many years ago at a convention, I donated a Carrie Fisher and Adam West signed Pez. Um, and then the lady that worked for the uh, the charity, the McDonald's charity, she like asked her thank you for me donating those. I was a little kid. She bought me this. Um, super nice of her. She did not need to do that. And then um, I got the football player with the box still. Um, got that in a big lot. 
Then right here, it's probably, this is the big one with the in, Lions Club with the inscribed stem. Um, even has like a matching inner sleeve, very beautiful. Um, I got him when I was about 17, um, paid about two years, so much for every month. And I finally got him once he was all paid off. And when I bought it, he also included a Pentagon stand in it. So I got a Pentagon stand. And like I said, I'm obsessed with Pluto. So I got all my favorite Plutos on the Pentagon stand. And then I got the dark orange head up there. Uh, this is a made in Spain Pluto. All the rest around it are made in USA. And then I was finally, after just this week, I obtained this Pez. I've been looking for it for a long time with the green inner sleeve Pluto. I knew it was out there and I finally got it. Coming down to the next shelf. This is all my cellos. I got lots of good stuff. Uh, I really like the trucks and cellos. I've just recently gotten those, but the trucks just look really good in cello. I uh, learned a lot more about those today. Thanks a lot, David. Um, I love this. This is my only vintage like, candy box. It's unopened. Uh, I keep getting tempted to open it because I want to display it, and I think it would look nice displayed opened. Uh, I'm happy. I'm thankful to have two parents that really encourage my collecting and are okay with it. Um, these three ones right here, uh, my parents found an antique store. They were $100 a piece. Um, I'd say that's a pretty good deal, so it's nice. These are probably my best cello pieces I have. Uh, they're my pride and joy. They got the really cool, like, Pez t-shirts in the back. Um, so it's kind of all matching. It's pretty cool. The droopy is one of my favorites, too. I put them the other day. You guys might have seen, but uh, it's hard to see. But his ear is actually broken, but it's still in the package up there. So you just see this little piece of ear that got broken when the package got shut. Um, I love that it's still in there. And I had no idea these were made for the Canadian market until the last video. So huge shout out again. I got some Donald Duck vending box. And this is the box that the Panda came in that I mentioned earlier that I opened one. I'm coming down to my next shelf. This is one of my pride and joys. Might be the most valuable, but I love it. It's finally the White Castle Halloween Trick or Treat Kids Meal Bag. Um, it also came out in 1993, which is the year I was born. So maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know. <laughs> and then over here, I have a Mr. Ugly backer card. Way to rub that in, Alec. What's up? Way to rub that in the year I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I got a, it's pretty cool seeing the Mr. Ugly Halloween with the pirate Pez. Uh, you don't see that often, but I guess he was a part of the whole uh, Halloween assortment. And then I'm obsessed with the Universal Monster. So I got Creature, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and then a Fishman. Super happy with those. And then down at this bottom shelf. Um, these are cool because they're body parts, but they have the Olympic logos on them. Um, my, my, my dad is a, was a swim coach for many years, so he loves the Olympics. He actually coached an Olympic gold medalist, so anything Olympics we like to have in our house. This, is, this isn't that old, but you don't see him a lot. It's the Peter Pez, and you would have ripped this off, and it would have had three packs of Pez coming out of it. And it came out in the 90s, but you just don't see him often, so that's why he's in this. Uh, I love the Gundams. Uh, I think those are so cool. I wish Pez did more cool box sets like that. I think those are packaged way nicer than the Pop Pez and everything. And then I got the Silver Space Gun. Um, just today, I bought the Red Space Gun because it's been driving me nuts. I don't have both on card. Um, got some random Pez cards. And then just recently, we had this uh, bubble gum machine that's been in the house. So we just put Pez candy in it and slapped a Pez sticker on it. So we made it look kind of more goes with the room and the flow. So we like that. And then the final thing I want to show you guys is this Pez quilt that my mom made for me. Um, so it pretty much has almost all the conventions I've been to. It's mostly Pacific in California I've been to. Uh, so all around is Pacific. And then right in the center of it was the one time I went to Cleveland for the 25th anniversary. Uh, so it's super cool that I can have this on display and I really wanted to make sure I showed you guys too. Um, oh, and then last thing too. Also have this thing, it's made of plastic. Uh, I think it came out in Europe. Not sure when, probably in the late 90s some point. Um, I think it's about to fall actually. But yeah, but yeah, that's really cool. I love having that too. Um, and yeah, I mean, here's my Pez room guys. That's awesome. Thank, thank you, Alec. Any questions? You, 
We don't have a lot of time for questions, so I'm going to ask people to message you directly if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's totally fine. So if you have a question for Alec, just message him directly. I didn't want to cut him short because I knew he was right there at the end. I could see the gumball machine. I didn't want to cut him off before he got back to the door. We wanted to see everything. So if you have questions for Alec, let him know. Thank you so much, Alec. Thanks for yeah, no uh, doing this for Thanks, us. Guys. You did a great job. It was awesome seeing everything. Yeah. If you ever sell that Phineas and Ferb autograph set, I want first dibs. Oh, uh, you, you will get first dibs. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thank, appreciate it. Thanks, Alec.